We're here today because we want Detroiters to stay safe. Officials with the Detroit Health Department planning on reaching out to get more people within city limits vaccinated. We are nowhere near where we want to be um, at community immunity at 70%. So we do have a long way to go. The city will deploy more than 150 teams to visit Detroiters who are homebound to give them the vaccine. Part of uh, our strategy is to ensure that no one gets left behind. We will have a phone bank who will call and make an appointment. The nurse, once she gets there and presents her ID and she comes in, if there's others in your family that are interested in being vaccinated, we will do them as well. Changes are also coming to one of Michigan's largest universities. Michigan State University says vaccinated Spartans can now go without masks both indoors and out. This applies to all students, faculty, staff and guests. However, the University of Michigan will continue to follow their mask policy. The UAW, Ford, General Motors and Stellantis will continue to comply with COVID protocols, meaning masks, eye protection, hand washing and social distancing will continue to be followed out of an abundance of caution. President Joe Biden says the U.S. bought 500 million doses of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine. The vaccines will be donated to lower income countries. Roughly 200 million go out this year and the rest will be delivered on the first half of 2022. Things are starting to change as we continue to fight COVID-19. It's been a long, hard road, but we are making progress and health officials are encouraging more people to get the shot. We've also offered an abundance of sites throughout the city. Um, we have walk-ups and drive-through. We have extended hours um, on Saturdays, on the weekend. We have pop-ups. I mean, we are doing so much for the city of Detroit. Let's now take a look at new COVID cases reported with our interactive tool you can find right now on our website, WXYZ.com. Starting here in Wayne County, where health officials are reporting 38 new COVID-19 cases up here in Oakland County. That number slightly lower at 26 cases right beside Oakland in Macomb County. The same 26 new COVID-19 cases reported and down here in the city of Detroit. Look at this number right here. 18 cases reported within the city limits. So these are really good numbers as we continue to see this trend on the downwards right now. Again, this tool is available on our website WXYZ.com. It is available for you to use. You can go through county by county and the state to track these numbers as they're updated by the minute. For 7 Action News, I'm Alan Campbell.